Hello and welcome. Uh, this movie is about optical tabs. I would like to cover the following subject. First of all, the requirement, tab ratio and dB attenuation, optical tab setup, patching diagram and a patching movie in the end. First of all, the requirements. Uh, it could be that uh, if you are an ISP or a taco, uh, somebody will require you to get an optical tab in the middle or in the end. You have a location A and you got a location B on, on either end. It could be that an optical tap is required. Well, that looks a bit like this. On uh, location A, you will have an optic. On, on location B, you will have an optic. And somewhere in the middle, you need a passive device, so no electricity is needed, that optically taps the light out of there and the rest of the light will continue just for your normal communication. Well, these optical lights uh, or optical splitters, they do have attenuation because they block the light, they're tapping some lights of it. So every tap loses light. Uh, I made a little diagram here, uh, how much light there is. Our standard is 50-50 splatters and that will cause 3 dB of uh, attenuation on either side, so on the tapping side and on the communication side. You can choose to go for 30-70. Uh, then on uh, the 30 side you will have, uh, which is going to your tap, you have 5 dB loss and on your 70 side you have uh, 1.5 dB loss. Just a little calculation for this, for example, the S&P Plus LR has a power budget of 7 dB. The loss by a splitter of 50-50 is 3 dB. You want to keep 1 dB in reserve, so that leaves 3 dB. If you calculate it with 0.35 dB per kilometer, that is at 1310, you'll still have 8 kilometers of fiber, which you can cover if you use this splitter. Well, how are you patching a splitter? This is the sample uh, I made here. As a diagram, uh, you get a red optic and a green optic. Optic B is sending out here to the 100% port. That 100% port sends to a 50% port is going to optic A. And 50% of the light will go to the optical tap for optical B. Well, the optic A will send out the green line that will go to the 100% port here. 50% is sent to optic B and the link is up. I made a sample movie on how to patch it here, uh, which I want to show, and after that the presentation is done. Thank you very much. Hello and welcome. Um, this is a little setup for an optical tab. Uh, we use our Mod 4 chassis for this. Uh, we, I can put four of these cassettes in it, and one cassette has eight splitters, in this case 50-50 splitters. I can put four of these cassettes in here and eight splitters. I can make uh, a tab for uh, these optics. I got just regular LX optics, 10 gig LX, which I'll put uh, from here to here. And I'll explain how we will have to patch it. What I do, I take the TX of this optic and put it on A1. So this is the 100% port. Then from the A1, I take a 50%, which is the A1 here, I put it on the receiver of the other optic, and of course, these optics will be other switches in your realistic setup, of course, but for to make it simple, I put them both in one uh, switch. From the other optic, I take the TX, so the sending, and I'm putting that sending on the B1, or on the B, and then from the B1, I take the 50% off and put it on the receiving of the other optic. And now the link should go up. As you can see, I've got link between these two. And on the A2, I will have the light. As you can see, I got the light of 1310, which is the optic. So that's 50% of the light of one optic. And here you can see 50% of the light of the other optic. These 50-50 splitters will uh, block the light 3 dB, but in most projects these can work. Our standard is 50-50 splitters, but we can get them in every ratio you want. Thank you very much.